And from the Spanish capital, Madrid, I am joined now by health policy expert Evangelita Martic. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Is Spain the new epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in Europe? Well, hello, thank you for contacting me. Uh, it seems to be that Spain is the, the new epicenter, but I think that the epicenter is Europe. And unfortunately, the pandemic is going to the global south, especially to Latin America, where I am worried about because we are talking about very weak economics and weak health systems and countries with a high inequality. And um, besides, I think that we, we have to pay attention to the, to the U.S. because the cases are increasing a lot and the government uh, didn't take uh, strong measures yet and they have a very privatized health system and this could be an important problem for the population. You mentioned the strength of the healthcare systems. Um, let's talk about uh, that strength in Spain, where you are, because the country is said to have one of the best healthcare systems in Europe. Why did it apparently fail so quickly? Well, uh, let me tell you, I, I agree that Spain is one of the best health systems in the world. This is a fact. But we need to distinguish between the prevention and the ability to face uh, this situation. And in my opinion, nobody uh, is ready for this, even the best um, health system in, in the world. Uh, nevertheless, the health system, the Spanish health system, is resisting and is facing the, the, situa the situation. You're a consultant for governments on health policy. What are your recommendations now um, for Spain and for others at the moment? Yes. Well, let me tell you that the Spanish government is full of excellent experts and I think it's not my place uh, right now to, to recommend something to do or to evaluate what they are implementing because we need to, to wait a couple of months in order to to, to get the full picture, the, the, full, the full data, to, to analyze the intervention and the results. But one thing I, I would like that the governments take into account, not just the Spanish, all the governments, is that we are in front of a, an opportunity to rethink about the health systems and the need to improve the public health system because when this thing happens, it's the public system who take care of us. So I think we are in front of a big, big opportunity in the world to, to, to reinforce this idea of uh, increasing the resources in, into the health systems. And in the meantime, um, what is your assessment? How is the lockdown affecting daily life? Well, the daily life is full affected because um, we have been at home for the last uh, two weeks and the government announced that we are going to stay at home two weeks more, at least. So in my case, I am working at home. I teach at university and now I'm teaching online. Uh, and here in Madrid, you just you, you can go to the supermarket and or to the pharmacy if you need it, and you you have to go alone. So this affected all our daily life. I think it's important to maintain or to try to maintain your routine. Health policy expert Evangelina Martic, thank you so much. Thank you.